Hello everyone, I'm Rino Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a mailbox database on your Exchange 2010 server. To do that, if you go to your Exchange Management Console, uh, expand your server and go under Organization Configuration, you'll find Mailbox. If you just click on Mailbox, you'll find Database Management. Under Database Management, you'll see all the databases on your server. By default, you'll just get Mailbox Database created by Microsoft. DB1 is what I've created. So to create another new mailbox uh, database, all you have to do is right click, and you'll find ma new mailbox database, or else you, what you can do is you can do it through your action panel onto your right hand side and click on new mailbox database. It's then going to ask you for your database name. For me it's going to be DB2. You then have to choose your server so if you just browse and you'll find all your exchange servers over here as I've just got one I'll just select that click OK and click next it's now going to ask you for your database path by default Microsoft saves it under C drive which is really really not a good idea to do that so I would suggest to save it onto your E drive or D drive if whatever drives you got but never on a C drive but as I'm into a test environment and I got no space left, I will save it onto a C drive. But I'll just save it uh, to a different folder. Okay, and uh, over here at the bottom you'll see mount this database. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a mailbox database and then it's going to mount this uh, the database. If you don't want to mount it, just untick that. And click next is then going to show you the summary for the database as well as the mount so click new and it's going to create your mailbox database click finish and your database has been created I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching